Hi there, welcome back to the 2024 edition of Under the Radar Reviews. I'm your host, Stephen, and today I'll be talking about a little gem in the Styx catalog. One of my favorites, one of my go-tos. I keep revisiting this album. I have a hard time believing that people don't know about it. This one is called Cyclorama. I'll give you a little bit of backstory before this comes out. In 1996, the original, uh, the classic lineup of Styx, consisting of Dennis DeYoung, James Young, uh, Tommy Shaw and Chuck Panazzo kind of go on a greatest hits tour. That lineup lasts about till 1999 where things implode again. So either, depending on who you hear, Dennis the Young got fired or he left on his own. Then things didn't work out. And Styx recruits Lawrence Gowan. They tour for a few years and in 2003, they come out with their studio album Cyclorama. Critics were harsh originally, um, which surprised me. I, I enjoyed this record. It is a different sounding um, Styx album. It's not fully prog rock like that they're known for. There are a few tracks on here like These Are The Times and One With Everything that are very reminiscent to the old style Styx sound, but the rest of them is kind of more of them trying to update their sound and sound modern. Because without Dennis DeYoung, they kind of sounded like a real team again. It was a, a collaborative effort on this album. Everybody seems to be on the same page, working together. You have multiple singers on here. So the lineup became, for this album, James Young, guitar and vocals, Tommy Shaw, acoustic, electric, baritone guitars, mandolin and vocals, Lawrence Gowan, piano, organ, synthesizers, vocals, Chuck Panazzo, bass and backing vocals, Glenn Burtnick, electric, upright basses, synth bass, electric 12 string guitar, and then there's Todd Susherman, who plays drums, percussion, loops, and synth bass. You got a lot of singers on here, so there's a lot of variety on here. It's a more modern sounding album, a modern rock sounding album. Um, little of everything for everybody. There's acoustic numbers. I, I like the opener of the album. It's kind of a psych psychedelic rocker, Do Things My Way. Uh, there's the acoustic rocker, Waiting for Our Time. There's the Queen-esque. Fields of the Brave from Lawrence Gowan. These Are the Times is an epic song from James Young. And so is One With Everything is another epic uh, prog rock song. There's Yes I Can, which is a nice little mid-tempo. And Together is a nice another one too. There are a few clunkers on here. Kiss Your Ass Goodbye sounds like a throwaway Blink-182 song. It doesn't fit on the album for, for me. It doesn't work. There's this little mini song with... Uh, Billy Bob Thornton called Bourgeois Pig. I don't know what that's about. Then you have this interesting thing. It doesn't work, but I, I appreciate what they're trying to do. They kind of tried to reinvent Fooling Yourself, the classic stick song, kind of harmonizing, and they bring in Brian Wilson. Interesting idea. I don't think it worked for me. So I think that those three songs should be removed from this album. And you have a killer Styx album on your hands. It is modern sounding, but I think Tommy wanted to show that they're not only a vibrant and viable live entity, they're viable in the studio. But yet they're not going to slowly rely on the past to get the job done. They're fully, they've embraced their past, but they're fully engaged in the future. And I think that's what makes this interesting. It's a different sounding Styx album. I, a lot of people didn't like it in the beginning, so it doesn't sound like Styx. But that's the beauty of it. If it would have sounded like um, The Grand Illusion Part 2 or Paradise Theater Part 2, we would all be screaming for Dennis the Young again, even louder. Because look at Journey Hall. Oh, they've had a hard time getting Steve Perry replaced because all the singers sounded so much like Steve Perry. And, they, and their albums kind of sounded the same. So they had a harder time with this kind of said like, hey, we are a new band. We are viable. And, but we're different, but we're still sticks. We, we know where we came from, but this is where we are now. And that's what I like about this. And I think you should search this out. I do hope that one day there's some sort of remastering version, um, remastered edition coming out or an anniversary edition. Now that the, with the like albums with the mission that show that sticks can, you know, really bring back their old school sound. I'm hoping somebody decides to re-release this thing 
and give it a second chance. It really deserves it. Like I said, it doesn't sound like your standard uh, Styx album, but it's an enjoyable listen from back to front. Probably one of their most cohesive albums. If you remove those three clunkers that I said, overall, it's like an alternate universe greatest hits package. And we'll leave it as that. This is my choice for this month's Under the Radar review. You let me know if you ever heard of this album. Do you like this album? What are your favorite tracks? If you don't like this album, tell me why. We'd love to hear from you. If you can, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. We definitely would love to hear from you. This is Steven with the 2024 edition of The Roundtable. Take care, guys.